hold a screwdriver, you'll need some dowel, some card, a pen nib from a cheap biro, and a cone of plastic or card. You'll need also a range of paints that can paint on plastic, some varnish, a pair of scissors, some sellotape, some strong adhesive glue that solidifies, two brushes, one for paint and one for varnish, and a craft knife, but this one's optional. The handle section will need to be 4 inches or 10 centimetres and the dowel 6.5 inches or 16.5 centimetres in length and 5 eighths of an inch or 2.75 centimetres in width. The handle will need to fit snugly around the dowel. You can alter these measurements though to suit you. A cylinder of card should make the handle. Use leftover card to cut a circle out to use this as the base for your screwdriver handle. Stick this to one end of the cylinder with sellotape to make this secure. Cover the whole screwdriver handle in sellotape to give a smooth surface ready for painting. Cut a ring of card out that fits snugly to the dowel. This is the decoration section that goes between the handle and the cone. Measure this up to your preference. To make the complicated sonic section of the cone, cut a strip of card to make a ring and get your pen nib and cut this down to size. Now watch and listen to me talking to you through the difficult bit. So you'll need to um, get your little strip of card and your pen nib. You'll obviously cut yours down to size so that it doesn't look ridiculous when it goes through because of course this looks um, rather silly like that. And you'll need to get your boss stick or your strong adhesive glue and you'll just need to glue all the way around the gap that you get when you do that um, until it solidifies. Um, this might take a while so you'll need to keep it moving. So you just, um, obviously the pen lib isn't in there, but you'll just need to keep on doing this um, until it dries basically. You'll have, it'll harden and of course the different kind of glue you use might depend on whether you can use a hairdryer or not. Boss stick you certainly cannot use a hairdryer to dry it because it will sort of expand and possibly explode. I would not recommend doing that. Um, so yeah, that's how you make the really complicated sort of sonic -y beam thingy um, that, you're, that is the main head. Stick the cone to the section you have just made. Once dry, every section will need painting. Varnish each piece as well. Now slide each piece together. Glue the cone onto the dowel. If you leave a space between the bottom of the dowel and inside the handle, you will have space for the sonic screwdriver to move up and down. If you would like me to tell you exactly how to do this, please send me a message. Now put the details on and varnish over the top to secure. This will protect the screwdriver, the paint and the workings from getting damaged. It will stop your hands from getting mucky when using it and will give the screwdriver a nice finish. If you would like to make a third doctor screwdriver, paint the details on as normal, but paint yellow the section between the cone and decoration and then black and white detailing on the handle. Please refer to the newly released toy in photographs on Google or another images search engine for more detail. And to show you what it will look like once you've finished, here's my Blue Peter moment. Here's one I made earlier. Now as you can see, um, it's pretty much exactly the same as in the photograph, just with a bit more varnish on, a bit more touching up with paint. Um, so I hope this tutorial has been easy, easy for you to understand and I hope that um, by me showing you how to do this you can finally um, make a fourth Doctor Sonic screwdriver. Um, so thank you for watching. Um, if you have any queries at all just it's probably best if you um, send me a message but leaving a comment below would be alright, um, but I'll get back to you via a message. Um, so thank you for watching again, and that's bye-bye from the Doctor.